Cloud enthusiasts, welcome to our video on what is cloud formation. Before we explore it, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new tutorials. Also, if you like the video, please feel free to share it with your friends. We have discussed infrastructure as code in our previous videos. But today, we will explore its real benefits. Automation is a vital part of any software development. And infrastructure is no different. But how would you automate infrastructure? After all, it involves setting up the hardware, connecting wires, etc. AWS Cloud offers three options for provisioning infrastructure via AWS Console, AWS CLI, and AWS SDKs. However, behind the scenes, all these tools use API calls to communicate with the AWS Cloud Platform. Today, we will explore the fourth option for provisioning infrastructure in AWS, which is cloud formation templates. By the end of this video, you will understand what cloud formation templates are and how they will help us automate infrastructure provisioning. Now imagine you're working for a company as a DevOps engineer. One of your many responsibilities include provisioning AWS infrastructure for the applications you manage. These applications may have a global footprint, in which case you have to provide the same infrastructure in multiple AWS regions. There are multiple ways you can execute your task. One way to do it would be to log into the AWS console for each region and set up the infrastructure manually. That, however, is an error-prone process. You can easily miss a critical step and end up with a non-functional infrastructure that is difficult to debug. You think to yourself, it would help if I had something repeatable. After all, that is the promise of infrastructure as code. What you need is something that can help you build your infrastructure provisioning logic and be able to run it multiple times against different environments. AWS CloudFormation enables you to create and provision AWS infrastructures predictably and repeatedly. AWS CloudFormation allows you to use a template file to create, update, and delete a collection of resources together as a single unit. Once you create CloudFormation template for your application, you can replicate the resources described within the CloudFormation template to multiple AWS regions. CloudFormation helps define your resources and their configurations declaratively and figures out the dependencies between these components. For example, if the Lambda needs a reference to an S3 bucket for storing files, the S3 bucket is created before Lambda. Using CloudFormation templates, you can also create different environments within the same AWS region. For example, you may want to use an inexpensive EC2 instance for your test environment, whereas you may want more powerful machine for your production use. As CloudFormation templates are text files, storing them in a Git repository allows you to track infrastructure changes over time and have an audit trail of who and when those changes were made. There are currently two options for creating CloudFormation templates. 
you can either make them in JSON format or YAML format. However, I find YAML to be more readable and easier to work with. When you finish creating the CloudFormation template, you can upload it to the AWS CloudFormation engine, which will provision the resources defined in your CloudFormation template within a few minutes. This concludes our video on understanding CloudFormation and CloudFormation templates. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos and comment below to provide any feedback. Thanks for watching.